In the meantime, the Minister of Agriculture and Food Security, Abubakar Kiari, has associated the present food scarcity in the nation and the increasing cost of food to smuggling across Nigeria borders and the Naira redesign policy. While appearing in the sectoral debate organized by the House of Representatives, the minister also identified flooding which destroyed farmlands across the country as another impediment to food security in the country. He said the president had directed the ministry and all those responsible to do everything possible to mitigate the suffering of Nigerians by ensuring enough grains are made available to the people. The minister, however, said that currently about 5,000 tractors are working in Nigeria and the country should have 72,000 functional tractors to meet the growing needs of Nigerians. Case in point, COVID in 2020 had a great impact worldwide, not only to Nigeria, worldwide in terms of food production and food supply. And shortly thereafter, in 2021 and 2022, uh, for those of us from the middle area of Nigeria and even in the Northwest, we noticed a considerable rise in flooding activities around the river banks that has caused a lot of damage to uh, our food production, especially during the rainy season. Then in addition, we also, um, in 2022, uh, I'd like to downplay that, but uh, it was uh, a fact that the policy of the Naira redesign had an impact on the local rural farmer who didn't have access to cash. have seen a lot of, uh, I would say, smuggling of foodstuff outside of the country. Meanwhile, the Comptroller General of Nigeria Customs Service, Bashir Adeniyi, said the service has commenced the sale of seized food items to vulnerable Nigerians to address hunger across the country. He explained that the service has arrested about 120 trucks smuggling food items from Nigeria to other countries. We are currently in an operation by, uh, all over Nigeria, which has resulted in the seizure of over 120 trucks across different border stations and border, uh, border areas in the country. So because we are in a state of emergency, we have received the directive to implement some kind of restrictions on the exports of critical food items, particularly grains. And this is what we have been implementing in the last one month to ensure that we have local self-sufficiency. I can also inform this Honorable House that President Bola Ahmed Tinubu has made some uh, executive decisions regarding what we should do with food items that are seized. Earlier, the Deputy Speaker, House of Representatives, Honorable Benjamin Kalu, said given the pressing issue of enhancing food security and agricultural productivity, Nigeria must acknowledge the growing concerns surrounding food insecurity despite the vast agricultural resources at its disposal. Given the pressing issue of enhancing food security and agricultural productivity within our beloved nation, Nigeria, we must acknowledge the growing concern surrounding food insecurity despite the vast agricultural resources at our disposal, including over 80 million arable hectares. Although only 34 million arable hectares are actively being cultivated. Honorable colleagues, our collective effort must focus on addressing both demand and supply factors along with the persistent challenge of food price inflation. Through thorough analysis, I have identified four critical levers for improving food security. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.